Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John and today we are out in the country at Thicker Liquor to try this new Irish and bourbon combination with my friend Dan. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. So uh, this is Keeper's Heart, Irish and bourbon whiskey combination. Uh, I have not seen or tried one of these before, so I'm pretty excited about it. And I know you brought this over, uh, and it's a fine looking bottle too. Yes, it is. It was recommended to me by uh, the associate at uh, Best Bargains, uh, Liquor Isle and, uh, here in, in Wheatland, Wisconsin. It's uh, a blend created by Brian Nation, who was the chief distiller at Middleton Distillery in County Cork, Ireland, which produces Jameson. And the man is a legend in Irish whiskey, now working for O'Shaughnessy Distilling Company in Minneapolis. Wow, and then this, but this is obviously Irish whiskey, so it's made, so they're bringing the Irish whiskey, obviously all Irish whiskey is made in Ireland, and it's, the bourbon combinations. I've not tried any of these. All right, so Keeper's Heart, the bottle is super cool. I'm gonna picture up there. This is really neat, and you brought this bottle over, but I shop for bottles too. Like when I see a bottle, I'm like, this looks really neat, and it's something that we haven't tried. 92 proof. Uh, Irish whiskey is 80 proof, traditionally. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If it's a blend, we don't know what the blend mix on here is, a 30, 20, you know, 30, no 70, idea. 80, 20, whatever, or is it a 50, 50? We don't know. Color wise, it looks good. But I've never tried an Irish whiskey and bourbon combination. The one thing about the Irish whiskey bourbon combo is they didn't have to worry about choosing what spelling they were gonna pick because they're both <laughs> EY. No offense to scotch lovers out there, but that's spelled a little weird. But uh, what'd you pay for this bottle? I believe it was $33. 33 bucks, Irish whiskey blended with American bourbon. So it's one bourbon with Irish whiskeys. So they have a blend of whiskeys already. Yeah. So we're cracking open a new bottle, uncorking of Keeper's Heart. And uh, there's a saying on here. What is that? <clears throat> I guess that's their Latin motto. Uh, it says Fugit Hora, which uh, I guess means the hour flies. They got a, a, a real nice logo here uh, of a stylized clock with uh, church keys as hands, and there's an emblem of the castle keep. Yeah, that's so, the keep. Keeper's heart. All right, keeper's heart. Let's give it a try. All right, so this is interesting. Here we go. Oh, we like the sound of that. All right, keeper's heart. Here we go. It looks like an Irish whiskey. And I say that because it's just the lightness the of color. It, the color, yeah. yeah. It smells Irish, that's for sure. Aren't you getting that same thing? Usually with the, the it, there's something about the Irish whiskey that it has like, there's a sweetness. Uh, Subtle. It's like a- It's subtle. not overpowering at all. Yeah, and it's not, you don't get super charred smells already. I'm mm -hmm. not getting like a heavy heavy cask bourbon style thing. Or even you know overpowering alcohol smell. Uh, like you know you'd be worried if someone lit a match. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I hate to say it and I know now that you told me that it's made by the people that make Jameson. The Irish whiskey blend I think it's just Jameson. <laughs> because I kind of smell. Well that would make sense. A little bit of Jameson in here. I think that's gotta be their blend. Yeah, what do cheers. you guys think? Anybody know? Let me know in the comments. Let's give this a taste. Wow, that is super, super good. <laughs> oh, that's got a good flavor, yeah. That has a really good flavor. I mean, I, I'm trying to describe it because I, I'm still stuck on the fact that it really tastes like an Irish whiskey to me. I mean, it's 92 proof, but really, 
not a lot of fire there. It's, it hits like it hits like eighty proof. Eighty. It tastes like forty six percent. Yeah, it tastes to me like um, like Jameson or tell them, you know Tulum or do. You know I. I I'm beginning to think that the bourbon mix, I mean, Irish whiskey is already made in bourbon barrels. Yeah. So they just like must throw a little bit more bourbon in there. I don't necessarily get like a strong bourbon note out of this. I'm really just getting an Irish whiskey taste out of this, which is not bad. I mean, that's just what I'm getting out of it. So it leans a little bit towards the Irish whiskey side of yeah. the whiskey spectrum, I guess. If that, it's a spectrum. If there is a spectrum, but I, just from the taste itself, I mean, right off the bat, when I smelled it, I'm like, ah, you know, bourbon, you got that little bit more of, I don't know, I guess it's the chard, uh, and where the Irish whiskey has its own. You hear the train coming through the background here? This is the second video that we've made where the train comes ripping through in the middle of it. Canadian National. We have the old Canadian National coming through here. <laughs> and we have our Irish whiskey too to go with it, you know. I mean, it is a keeper. This would be a regular, yeah. you know, a regular that's, bar top item for whiskey. sure. The bottle is super neat. I think it's priced right, $32. You can't beat that. And um, it really is a unique uh, combination. A little more kick than uh, most Irish whiskey that I've tried, yeah, which admittedly I'm no expert on, mm -hmm. uh, not as smooth as a Tullamore do, right. a little more kick, but uh, a fine taste in whiskey. It went from 40% alcohol to 46% alcohol, so obviously there you're going to get uh, a little bit stronger flavor. But whatever bourbon they used, and I don't know if the company would tell you that or not, and. Um, Whatever bourbon they use is pretty smooth because it doesn't really affect us too much. It just gives it a little bit of heat. Yeah, I agree. I think so. If you like Irish whiskey, you'll like this. Yes. If you like bourbon, it might it might be a little. Uh, I don't want to say weak, but um, like you said, not as much heat. Yeah, and for 92 proof, you think it hit a little harder. But that's the boldness of the flavor that mm -hmm. it's missing. The bourbon you're gonna get, like uh, this is uh, comparable in terms of the proof in terms of like a uh, Maker's Mark. Yeah. You know, that's 94 proof, mm -hmm. so that's real close. But Maker's Mark, you taste it right away. You know where you're taking the heavy bourbon as opposed to this. Right. Uh, yeah, I like the Tullamore Dew. It's a little um, less, less heat, smoother. Um, but this has a good flavor, a good bite, and uh, I enjoy it. Yeah, I'll have some more. We're <laughs> gonna certainly have fun uh, finishing off this bottle. Uh, thanks again. Don't forget share, like, subscribe. Just click that like button. That'll help the channel out a bunch. And I like what you uh, said, Dan. That's for sure. If you like Irish whiskey, you have no problem with this. This is super smooth. It does not have a, a overpowering scotchy taste to it at all and if you like bourbon and you kind of want to get your you know your feet wet and the whiskey game this is not a bad one to transition irish whiskey, there. yeah mm -hmm. the irish whiskey for sure so there you have it uh thanks again for checking out the video thanks dan for bringing over this spectacular bottle it's my pleasure and uh we're gonna enjoy this with a little bit of food here in wheaton wisconsin on the outskirts of that and we will catch you next time on Thicker Liquor. Go, hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. Ain't no 